We are Trudy and Tony. We love to hike, bike, CrossFit, and take road trips in our van. Today, Tony is going to review the Go Labs R300 and how we use it. Happy anniversary, Tony. Oh, happy anniversary. How long we've been married? 29 years. We're going to take a little overnight trip. It is New Year's Eve 2021. What do you got there? So whenever we go on the road, we always take our Go Labs R300. It's a nice little portable uh, power unit. It's um, like, a, like a little generator, basically what it is. Um, it runs 300 watts of power, and it's able to run our Coolatron for about five hours when we're not in the van. So I always get it ready to go. So when we get ready to go on our bike trip, we're able to um, hook up to this right away and power our Coolatron. Another quick little tip is save the bottom of the packing and use it as a padding. I always like to use it. This is a trick I learned from somebody else. I cut the front open and then I'm able to store it and it also takes away some of the shock on the, uh, on the generator. So we'll see you on the road. So when we get to where we're going, I have the Go Labs pretty much ready to go. I already have it in its carrying case. All I gotta do is turn it on, quick hold the button, it turns on its own. I have the uh, cigarette lighter plug from up front. I just unhook it and I go through and plug it in, hit DC, and it's now running the uh, the cooler and it'll run our cooler for, this is a, a thermoelectric cooler, so it'll run it for about five to six hours. So why the Go Labs R300? For us, it was simple. It came with everything we needed to, to run whatever we wanted right off the bat. It comes with all the cables, car charger, an extra 12 volt lighter circuit, an extension cable, a solar panel uh, hookup cable, and it also comes with its own wall wart, which means we can charge it off of AC while we're uh, uh, at home or on the road. Um, we liked that it was lightweight. It weighs six and a half pounds. It had a carrying handle, simple to carry around. Um, it's easy to transport. When I sent away for the, the unit, in the packing came a, a card that if you went online, they sent you a free bag. The nice thing about the bag is it holds the generator and it holds all the cables and everything you need to get around with. And it also makes even carrying this thing so much easier because it has an arm strap. You can just throw it over your shoulder and carry it around also that way too. Um, as I said, it's easy to transport. It has 300 watt hours. What that means for us, it was able to run our uh, Coolatron cooler for about six hours, which was plenty of power for us while we're out and about. Um, on average, we'd be on a hike maybe three to four hours. It kept everything cold for us. Perfect, perfect size for us. Like I said, great compact unit. It's able to fit in our van underneath the seat, out of the way, you don't even see it. Um, easy to get around, easy to compact, great unit. Um, it had all the power that we needed for right now what we needed. We just needed to run our Coolatron cooler, charge some cell phones up, um, and right now it's powering the lights that you see uh, in for this shot. Um, it has pass-through charging. What pass-through charging means is you're able to plug it in either off a cigarette lighter or off of AC. Able to put it into the unit and now it's able to charge and um, run the lights at the same time. What that's good for is I could I could plug it in and run something off the cigarette lighter uh, Continuously and get power and you can see that it's charging by the lines are moving So for us, it was great to do that. We can we can if we needed to do that um, It has a long uh, Life battery which means you can charge it over a thousand times uh, continuous on and off um, Most people are not going to use that I most people don't let it run to zero and back up most people and what I do, it goes about 50% and then I charge it back up. So it's going to last a long time being recharged. It does have lithium ion phosphate batteries. What that means is the batteries store longer, they hold energy longer, and they produce a more consistent power over a lead acid battery. Like I said, it does have a car charger. It also has a solar capability. If you have a solar panel, you're able to charge the unit up um, off solar or off the car or off of AC, which we're doing right now. It has a 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. What that means is the sine wave is a perfect sign, um, which is good for delicate uh, equipment, such as cameras, phones, small appliances. It's a pure wave. It doesn't have a, a jump around, so it's gonna charge everything, uh, run everything fine. Um, I rec got recommendation from this from off Hobotech on YouTube. 
He's a uh, YouTuber who checks all these things out. He runs it through tests. If you want to see anything about solar generators, that's where I would go. Hobo Tech on YouTube. They, he gave us a high recommendations. The Go Labs R300 is stat approved. Comment below if you have any questions and we will see you on the road.